Greetings Wastelanders and welcome to another video. So today we are at Nordhagen Beach which has been converted into a military facility. Uh, call it Fort Nordhagen, Nordhagen Base, whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Uh, I'm using Commonwealth Gek in order to get out as far as I am. Uh, as you can see I'm way far away from the beach at the moment. Uh, we're actually outside uh, by this little tiny town which is over near the racetrack. Uh, if you don't know the racetrack, uh, definitely look for that and check it out near Nordhagen Beach. Uh, that's uh, quite the experience. But uh, out here, all I did was just kind of clean things up. Um, got rid of a lot of the junk that was over here in this parking lot. And then built this nice little gate, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, guard tower as well. Uh, so right inside we have a couple of guards, one on each side. Uh, I used the Place Anywhere tool to kind of mesh all this together, otherwise I never would have been able to get this as nice and tight and neat as what you can see here. And just stuck a little National Guard sign up there just for the heck of it and a couple of spotlight turrets, which as we all know, once you put them up there, they'll stay lit for all about five minutes and then the lights just stop working. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we got inside. So inside the main gate, uh, again, here's the entrance to the towers, uh, one on each side. And as you can see, I got everything kind of all bleeding into one another just to make it all nice and neat. Uh, in here, I rebuilt the bridge leading to the beach. Uh, there's normally holes down in here, but I'm using a mod called Grounded, which will give you road textures, sidewalk textures, uh, grass. If you saw my previous video in Hangman's Alley with uh, the green, that I put in there that was part of the mod called Grounded. Um, also redid uh, the rails here, kind of shored them up with uh, some steel beams and this little bits of sidewalk here, this was also a hole, kind of repaired that so yeah the whole beach, is, or beach the whole bridge has been repaired. Uh, there was another pothole there, not really a pothole but a hole, now they're potholes but you get the idea. And so right up here we have our inside gate, a couple more guards up there hiding behind some sandbags. Um, just kind of stuck these in here just for the heck of it, uh, kind of looked neat. And so uh, right here now we have uh, Fort Nordhagen. So over there we have our uh, runway, uh, we will be taking a look at that in a moment. And a couple of buildings over here as well as a little bit of a military marina, I guess you can say. So inside this building, we have a bunch of armored vehicles and tanks, uh, one behind each and every door. This was uh, actually quite the undertaking to put all this together, um, trying to make everything kind of flow as nice as uh, what you see here. Um, I actually ended up redoing this whole entire thing numerous, numerous times because I just wasn't happy with uh, the way it was coming out, basically. Um, I started, I think, over here with the docks and built that first and then wanted to try to get the whole thing uh, all one big sort of flat texture with the layers leading into each other, if any of that makes sense. Um, Came pretty close. Uh, I'm having issues with uh, my steps not being able to connect to edges and then connecting something right below it like this. Uh, these guys used to all connect into each other fairly easily, but now uh, I guess with the mods I'm using that kind of broke it. So it is what it is. It uh, just makes things a little difficult. So down here we have our docks. Uh, we've got a crane over there to help load the ships to get supplies back and forth. And inside this building here, a big industrial forklift to help uh, move stuff around and load it. Uh, some basic garage decorations, ladders, carts, so on and so forth. And here's the other boat. And good look at our little crane there and our glitching flag in the background. But, you know. Not everything can be perfect. Uh, we got a guard right here on the back of this building. We're gonna go ahead and take a look inside here and see what we got going on. And again, we have uh, 
the mod grounded, giving us uh, some more road textures here so I can create a parking lot as well as make this uh, road that was here kind of blend into and turn into here. You can kind of see these little straight edges and that little corner right there. Uh, that's all part of the grounded mod. I uh, really, really like that one. It's a lot of fun to be able to have uh, these kinds of road textures and walkways and so on and so forth. Uh, so over here, parking lot, a couple of cars, vehicles, whatever, uh, for all the people that uh, work here. Uh, these are the original two residents of this place. This kid's magical, apparently. He's glitching right through that sucker. But uh, yeah, I can't really do much with these people and didn't want to get rid of the garden, so I figured, you know what, I'll just leave it and let them do their thing. Hope you leave one of them synths to spy on I am not a synth. You don't have to worry about that. And we got a rad storm coming in. So inside here, we got ourselves a little guard, another guard over there. He's uh, protecting the armory over here. Yes. And inside, uh, shelves stocked full of armor, weapons, uh, ammo, so on and so forth. Little waiting area for anybody who's here visiting. And we have the general of the entire fort here. Uh, some desks, lots of uh, decorations on the desks. I uh, love this kind of stuff. Um, these fully stocked shelves like what you saw inside there uh, can also provide things like uh, these fully stocked uh, desk decorations and apparently this person's an alcoholic but uh, you know whatever everybody's got their vice uh, in here we got our bunks um, unlike my other military facility i uh, added some more stuff into this uh, we got some duffel bags and some trunks to kind of look at more make it look a little more uh, lived in uh, we have our single bed over here for the CEO that's commanding officer. Huh? And so, if we can get past her, there we go. Up here, more desks. Uh, basic little mess hall area with lots and lots of Nuka-Cola. Make all the different flavors you want. Again, this is a decoration thing. Uh, the same one that has all of the fully stocked shelves. Uh, I will have all the mods listed in the description below. And over here we have the little general's uh, side office, his little quarters here. Got a little ammo box down there, and it is very green out there. Yeesh. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's the, the main quarters here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest and get irradiated while doing so. I seem to have a lot of bad luck with a lot of times when I want to do videos, storms roll in, especially these rad storms. If you've seen some of my other videos, it just happens to me all the time. Uh, so over here we have airplane hangar. Uh, this was a lot of fun to build. This was uh, just kind of an idea that came to me when I was like, oh, maybe I should put a runway here. And then I said, oh, I've never really built uh, an airplane hangar before. So I stuck a couple of airplanes out here, one that's ready for takeoff and one that's uh, being serviced, as you can see. And we got our little office here for whoever runs the airplane hangar some tools and fully stocked shelves for all kinds of you know garage goodies etc and there you go we got ourselves uh, an airplane hangar and as you can see i'm using the uh same walls over here that i've been using in the last couple of videos the uh, covenant security walls uh, in this case i was able to actually get these things uh, very very nice and level as you can see and all bleeding into each other perfectly so it looks like one big continuous wall um, the way i kind of did this was i found my highest point here and stuck up the wall there with uh, what looked like enough clearance to kind of make it look secure mind uh, you know ignore that little gap there but uh, that was my starting point. I worked from there and went uh, all the way around to create the wall so that it was all nice and level. And uh, I'll show you how I did a little change up when the ground got a little too high in one spot. Uh, so over here we have our little makeshift fire truck. Kind of stuck a couple of things in there to make it look like a, a water tank, I guess you can say. And over here, once again, I got to the water and just like my hangman's alley, I kind of didn't know what to do with the wall, so I just kind of shoved a bunch of rocks up in here and it's uh, not the prettiest thing, but it uh, serves a function. I was considering uh, building the whole little inlet here of water all into the entire base, but uh, just decided not to go too much further because I was already getting kind of glitchy with uh, how much stuff is actually in here. Um, you know, we do have the build limitations for a reason, and I'm already way, way past that. Uh, stuck some lights down here to kind of light the runway. And over here we have our control tower. 
see if we can get in this door here. There we go. Another security desk uh, with the guy not visible. And this is uh, something that was kind of neat. I used the Place Anywhere tool to kind of push this wall in just far enough so that the button there stuck out, and only the button. Um, in my Hangman's Alley, I was talking about the gaps up here that uh, were visible, and I stuck a bunch of Nuka-Cola signs and whatnot in. Uh, here, I didn't do that because I didn't have anything that really looked right in doing so. I didn't think uh, Nuka-Cola signs would go too well with a military base, but, you know, here's what it is. And again, put in some elevator doors, just like I did at Hangman's Alley. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look up at the second floor. As you can see, each one has that same gap up at the top. Uh, nothing really I could do about it. Uh, I didn't know what to do with these floors, so I just kind of stuck some military and garage-type decorations. So uh, The next floor, I think I just did a little tiny mini-library. I don't know why. Maybe they have uh, books on flight. Who knows? But I just stuck it there because I needed something to do and something to put in these floors because otherwise they really serve no purpose whatsoever. And over here we have our main control tower. Uh, I just put red lighting all around so that at night, you know, it's lit up but it's red light which makes it a little bit easier to see everything that's outside. I uh, just put a bunch of desks in here with uh, some computer screens and got our little map of the wasteland for radar, whatever. Uh, some more little bits of machinery. Got this little guy humming and lighting and so on and so forth. And so this is the uh, the control tower. Just is uh, kind of a copycat replica, whatever you want to call it, of the one that I did at the castle. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, check that one out. I got another runway on that one as well, uh, complete with some airplanes, but uh, no airplane hangar. And so yeah, and then we got some screens here. I uh, finally got this stupid thing to work uh, using the Place Anywhere tool for whatever reason, whenever I try to build this one, um, it's always half in the ground, like I can't even stick it to a wall, so I had to use the Place Anywhere tool to finally get that where it uh, needs to be. And so as you can see with uh, each floor, I did the same thing with the wall, kind of pushed it in just far enough to get the uh, the buttons visible, so that way it looks you know, like a, an actual elevator that you would see normally in person. So let's go ahead and get the heck out of here and continue on with our tour. Alright. So yeah, back out to the runway here and let's uh, take a look at the covenant walls over here. So this was my solution for, as you can see, the ground just kept getting higher and higher up here and kind of made these walls obsolete if I kept going any further. It wasn't really going to serve any purpose whatsoever. So I stuck a, another guard tower up in here. Yes. Just put a simple little guy and that was how I made the transition to go from short over to tall again and stuck a little antenna up in here why the heck not I didn't even really place it I just kind of stuck it and had the intention to kind of put it somewhere but just said you know what it's fine where it is so there you go a couple more little bunkers here with some more guards Yes. Uh, nothing much in here other than a couple of desks with those same uh, decorations, a couple of flags, and another guard over here with our little gate. And so over there is actually Fort Strong. And I can actually make this sign here, and then I just put two. And I did have an arrow on here, but it just looked really, really cheesy. So I said, you know, let's let's get rid of that. And it looks bad enough with the the neon two there, but. Whatever. I just decided to leave it. And so, uh, yes, this leads to Fort Strong. So now we have uh, one fort going straight to another fort. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. whatever. It is what it is. I didn't even really realize that Fort Strong was over there when I first started building it. And so I was like, well, whatever. Another guard tower here. Uh, this is supposed to have a guard. Uh, this game glitches a lot with these uh, craftable NPCs, non-playable characters. Um, whenever I stick them in places like this where I've actually built the ground, they glitch and usually end up right through the floor. But, uh, again, this was my solution for making the transition to get the wall all the way to the edge. And so, yeah, this is, uh, basically all of Fort Nordhagen. Uh, stuck some rocks down in these little sections here to kind of cover up some holes that I couldn't quite fix with, uh, these concrete textured walls. Um... 
And so, like I said, this uh, leads over to Fort Strong, and I actually kind of did continue on down the road a little bit, uh, clearing the way. There were cars, you know, blown up cars, etc., just kind of sitting here. So I got rid of that, got rid of all the debris that was in the road blocking everything, and uh, tried to make it look as, you know, reconstructed as possible. And so here's the original Fort Strong uh, sign, got some lights on it. And just kind of fixed up the uh, little guardhouse here, added some lighting, got rid of uh, all the debris again, and put some lights in here to kind of make this look like it's, uh, you know, functioning. And so then, uh, yeah, Fort Strong is off that way. Again, I just kind of cleared some of the roads leading to it, but uh, never worked my way over there. Uh, I am using the mod called Commonwealth Gek, which allows me to basically keep building out as far as I want to, but I don't really try to push the limitations too far. Uh, don't really want to have my game crashing constantly because I've ended up making the settlement too big. But uh, there you go. Yes, this is uh, Fort Nordhagen. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I had uh, quite a bit of fun putting all this stuff together, like uh, building the bridge. Uh, that was uh, really neat to be able to kind of fill those holes in and fix all of that up and even making uh, the airplane hangar, something I've never done before. But, uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions, comments, want to know how I did certain things, just uh, leave them below. I do read and respond to every comment. And uh, if you got any requests for any particular sites, uh, please just let me know. Uh, I am still currently trying to fulfill one request from Brandon about trying to build Raven Rock. Uh, that is going to be quite challenging because I'm having issues finding any detailed... Uh, maps, I guess you can say, of what the entire place is, uh, actually looks like. Um, I might actually have to fire up Fallout 3 and go to Raven Rock so I can kind of map it out myself and, and go from there. Uh, I also put out a teaser trailer last weekend for Silent Hill. Uh, there is a Silent Hill build coming. I don't know when that video is going to pop up. I am still currently walk, uh, working on it. Uh, my game's being very glitchy with that one, so uh, let's hope that I can get it done sometime soon. Uh, until next time, don't get irradiated. <laughs>